Hello, welcome back to Medieval 2. Uh, last time was not a particularly good recording session with that terrible boss. I don't know what else I could say about that that I didn't already say during the fight. I just, just keep giving it the triangle, that one big swing attack, and try to avoid it. That's about it. And the other half of that fight is just being lucky. Just it letting you hit it, basically. Anyways... So after that, we got told that there was multiple places to go, but uh, Kyo wants to do something, so she's going to go off to one of them. That's going to end well. And we're going to go to another one. Okay. In addition to how poor my experience was last time in Iron Slugger, the worst boss in the game, in probably any game. I didn't outright say it, but I did say that I wasted an hour on that fight, and I didn't show all that, so... I didn't say it, but I am editing down these videos. I don't think it's particularly fun, personally, to just watch someone struggle through something. And... Like an hour of me failing that fight would just not be fun. So, that's, I haven't said it before, but yeah, I, I am going to take out massive failures because I don't think they're fun to watch. Alright, so let's get information on the mission briefing on this and head on in to Wolfram Hall. This is the center of the psychic disturbance. It's a new one to me. All I'm reading is a great malevolent slumbering evil. Extreme caution as always, Dan. Oh, and before you go, you might want to use your head on some of those hands over there. Stand over the hand and use your head to see what happens. Uh-huh. Yeah, I also wrapped up all of that. I, I actually... I didn't mention it when uh, I was doing it, but you have to actually still finish the level to keep what you get. If you exit a level, you do not keep anything. Now, while that makes sense because you're not finishing the level in the first game you could just turn around and leave a place that from where you came in and keep what you went in to get there's nothing like that at all in this game so you have to actually finish the level you can't just go in get something you need and turn around and leave I, I don't think like for ammo I don't think skiv is anywhere in this place that I could just go and get ammo and be fine for the next level I have to find him in the level or go into a level and finish it so Part of it makes sense, and part of it is pretty annoying. Alright, let's jump in to Wolfram Hall. Try the second compressor, Dogman. What a strange adversary Fortescue is. He's persistent, I'll give him that. And he certainly has the beating of you two. He also defeated Iron Slugger, Master. He also defeated Iron Slugger. You don't! I've had enough of you slimy, whiny get at! <sighs> no matter. I call on my allies earlier than expected. I fail for Is the time right? Oh, yes. The timing is just perfect. <laughs> Come on, we're off. What an excellent boss to work for. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, I remember I have to actually use them here to progress. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. That's a fantastic sound that he makes. Hi, Dan. The entrance seems to be guarded. I'll try and find another way in if I was you. As the professor told you about using hands, stand over one and use your head in the inventory. Try that! Oh, yeah. 
I can actually use my head in the inventory. Or I could do L1 and triangle. That makes much more sense. See, I think there's two ways in. See, I don't think the hand can actually reach that one. Yeah. As you can tell, this is a very high class game. I don't think I want to go in there. I think it's stuff like this that makes me like this game quite a bit more. What? Okay. Cause th this does actually add mechanics over the first game. There are more things to do. It's not just rehashing the first game's mechanics. Yeah. I already found the chalice. I'm supposed to be looking for a key somewhere. I don't think I want that. Not yet, anyways. I don't think the key was in the basement, was it? Sure. I suppose it probably was. It was. Well, I knew I was supposed to just avoid him. But apparently it's worse than that. Oh, thank you, camera. <laughs> because of the way the camera works, I can't keep an eye on him. he gives up because I go into the next room. Really? Really? Oh, game! What? what? Whatever, I have the key, so I don't care. Unless I lost it. I lost it. Somehow. Okay, that's stupid. First of all, why wasn't that down? Okay! From the other side of the table, he grabs me. Who keeps putting that back up? Okay, leave me alone. Finally! Wow. That was annoying. Nope. No thank you, creepy lady. Really? Okay, thanks for the assist. Alright, now I got the key. Okay then. I kind of remember this level. Can I not just kill her? No? Okay then. I, I don't get it. How is she threatening to me now? Whatever. Hey, you better run away.
Huh, where we go then? Oh, that's not very, that's not particularly clear. All right. Okay, I was going to be upset if I couldn't actually kill him. <laughs> That was very therapeutic. All right. Oh, that's right. This is broken, so you can't go up there and uh, on the hand. I am seventy percent sure there's a boss in this place. I've scouted the land. The place is infested with vampires. They're immune to all weapons. You'll have to find another way of killing them. I'll explore the top floors while you deal with this one. Right, the shield I've been using this entire time. He just had to get one more in before he died. Okay, game. Oh. Okay. Always good to find. I could have swore there was one in one of the uh, hand places in previous levels, but apparently not. One in the, the garden. I thought that one had a. I thought for sure that one had a. Um, a hand. Can I not? Huh. I don't remember how I opened those. Okay. Yeah, you don't actually hurt them, even when they're out like that. You just have to run away from them. If the first one wasn't obvious enough, I'll just go ahead and say it. That is a terrible way to wake up. But that is this entire uh, level. It's just killing the vampires. disturbed him, I guess. Are you gonna... Okay. There it goes, finally. Why are you... I think that's just if I fail this. I thought I had to move it onto whatever. Yeah, you gotta put it on that and slide it across. Because if it falls, he steps out, like you saw. I was overcomplicating it. And they can't jump, so just go on the other side.
Okay, this one, I remember being pretty complicated. Or, not really. They want you to think it's complicated. That's right, and the bell wakes them all up. Ow. Oh, that's right. If they step on those green things, it wakes them up. That's what it is. Or I can hit the bell if I want to be stupid. Camera. Thank you. Push it. Here we go. doesn't want to grab these things. They're, I guess, an awkward shape for the, uh, the grabbing system. I was going to say, I thought the chalice was going to be collected pretty soon. Everything in here is worth a pretty good percentage of that. All right. This one was pretty easy to find. I don't remember what weapon I get for this. I also I also noticed this when I was in the menu a moment ago. For some reason, getting the broadsword took away my small sword. I'm pretty sure I can get the small sword back if I go back to the first level and pick it up. I'm actually going to collect that. It was not as much as I was hoping for. Oh well. This one, I think, is is more complicated. Hmm. I don't even see the coffin. And somehow I just phased right through that. Any time now. I think it's up there. Oh, I see one. Yep, I have to go all the way around. I think I have to get them on to that. If I were smarter, I would have gotten that small one all the way back here first. If I could force him onto it. And you can do them both at once. But I feel like that's going to be a pain to try to do. Come on. Yeah, so the only way that I could have done that better is if I moved, got that 
smaller block back there first before I knock the coffins off. Otherwise, not bad. Yeah, the one bigger room with the bells, that one's meant to be a lot more complicated. high enough. Oh. I need to go up top first. Ah, that's right. I knew it was something like this. So all of the faces will wake them up. I'm not sure where that actually starts from, though. That's not super helpful yet. See if I can figure this out. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, there's no uh, reference for what direction is which on that, but not too hard to figure out. my health. What did I open? Oh, I think there was a door up here. Yep. Dan, you've come a long way. I'd save if I was you. Whatever's 
through this door is a lot worse than the stuff you've already encountered. Use your wits, not just your weapons. Reflect on what I've said. Okay. Now he said exactly how to beat the boss. <laughs> just like he did with um, the first one. I, I don't think this is ever worth it. It goes down as long as it's equipped, which is actually better in this because you can just immediately swap back and forth. But in the first game, it, it is absolutely not worth it because you have to open the menu and change your weapon. Okay, that's right. I got full ammo at some point. What manner of creature are you to disturb the Count's sleep? Why, before me I see nothing more than a reanimated bag of armor and bone. You have done well to get this far, but uh, the Count has walked this earth for a thousand years, defeating hundreds stronger than you. And for a thousand more, I should- Get on with it! You interrupt me! For your insolence, you shall suffer beyond all imagining, my ugly little friend. <laughs> so if he's a thousand years old, how does he not know who Dan is? Okay, a camera, jeez. I don't know how that hit my shield when I did not have my shield up. Okay, it's not that. What do I do with the mirrors? Camera! Oh my. I thought I was supposed to, I I was supposed to open a window again. Okay. Slightly up. Hit the mirror. There you go. And it's wasted. I'm. No. Okay, this camera is not making this any easier. I can't see what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh my god, I... Thank you, game. I literally did that immediately when this started, but sure. my shield because he keeps thinking I'm defending. You have fought 
not well, my bony friend. But all resistance is futile. You cannot defeat the count. <laughs> okay, this is the phase I was thinking it was. I, for I apparently forgot about the first phase. I don't know where Dan is walking off to. So basically just remembering how that fight works, it helps that a lot better. I completely forgot that first phase existed. I knew I had to do the, the thing with angling the mirrors. Look what I've made with all that vampire juice! Now what if I got this in a level that wasn't immediately after... <coughs> The vampire level. Okay, lightning is one of the... It's not the best weapon, it's one of the most effective weapons in the first game, but you absolutely cannot refill it. I think you can in this, but I also probably won't be using it. Anyways, let's get... Let's talk to the professor and then in this part. Hello, Dan. Oh, uh, you destroyed the count. <laughs> uh, excellent, excellent. What's the matter? Um, unfortunately, I'm afraid that we've lost all contact with Kia. Uh, she went to Whitechapel, and we haven't heard from her since. Well, I said she didn't go. I know, I know, it's all my fault. If anything's happened to her, I'll never forgive myself, and I don't think you'll ever forgive me, will you? We should probably go after Palethorn, but why don't you go and see if you can find her? Hmm? Okay. So, uh, not too bad. I, I could have definitely done better on that boss if I just remembered how the first phase went. Anyways, that's it for this part. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, and you... Even if you aren't familiar with this game, you might have an idea of what's coming up in Whitechapel. Uh, yep, that's it for this part. I hope you stick around for more, and thanks for watching.